Hi guys, here with dividing whole numbers. This one you definitely want to have a pencil and paper handy because you're going to need to work these out while we're finding um, our quotients and remainders in some cases. So the first one says the bake stars need to arrange 718 cupcakes on trays for a pooch pool party. If each tray can hold nine cupcakes, about how many trays will the bakery need? Choose the best estimate. Well, when I look at this one, what pops out to me are um, I can make compatible numbers. So I know the multiples of nine. I know there's a multiple of nine, which is 72. 718 is really close to 720. And then if I divided that by nine, I know 72 divided by nine is eight. And then I can bring my zero for an estimate of 80. Olivia raised $3,428 to buy toothpaste to put in care packages. Each tube costs $2. About how many tubes of toothpaste can she buy? Choose the best estimate. Well, I'm going to round 3,428 to 3,500. If I divide that by two, two goes into three once, two here, one, bring down the five, two goes into 15, seven times, because that gets us to 14. Two goes into, <clears throat> excuse me, 10, five times, kind of running out of room here, but add a zero here, and then I have another zero. So for me, that's closest to 1,700. I also could have rounded it <clears throat> down to 3,400 and divided that by two. That probably would have been a better estimate. Two goes into three once. We have one, bring down the four. Two goes into 14, seven times, and see, that's a better estimate. And then I'd have my zeros and end up with 1,700. Click done. Not on my eraser there. Click next. There are 486 hamsters at a private showing of a new documentary about humans. There are 12 seats in each row. About how many rows will the hamsters feel? Fill. Choose the best estimate. All right. This is another one where I kind of see compatible numbers, right? 12. I know a multiple of 12 is 48. So for 486, I'm gonna round it to 480 because I know a multiple of 12 is 48. I know 12 goes into 48 four times. And then I would have my zeros, 12 goes into zero, zero times. So our best estimate would be 40. Click next. I need 700, 700, 7,714 solar panels to power my new workshop. Each box contains 24 panels. About how many boxes should I purchase? Choose the best estimate. Now on this one, that's a little bit trickier because you're gonna have to kind of round both of your numbers here. 24 is closer to 25. So I'm gonna round that to 25. And I think 7,714, I'm going to make, I think it's close to 7,500. I pick that because I know multiples of 25, like quarters, right? 25, 50, 75, that I think that's an easy multiple to use. So I know 25 goes into 75 three times, right? Three quarters is 75 cents. And then if I brought down my zeros and went through each one, my best estimate would be 300. Next one. The Bake Stars picked 907 apples last weekend at a local orchard. They made caramel apples and sold them in the bakery in trays of six. How many trees of caramel apples did they have to sell and how many apples were left over? So here you're not finding an estimate anymore. Here we're actually dividing it out. So if I do 907 
divided by 6. 6 goes into 9 one time. 1 times 6 is 6. 9 take away 6 is 3. Bring down my 0. 6 goes into 30 evenly 5 times. 5 times 6 is 30. Bring down the 7. 6 goes into 7 one time. 1 times 6 is 6. And I have a remainder of 1. So I need 151 with 1 left over. 151 with 0 left over? Nope, we have a remainder. 150 with 11 left over? That doesn't work because 6 could have gone into 11. 30 trays with 7 left over? Definitely not. 151 with 1 left over. Perfect. Click Next. The next one, we're doing the same thing. We're gonna have to actually work it out and see how many and how many we have as a remainder. So it says I'm making quilts out of my grandma's square handkerchief collection. I have 811 handkerchiefs in all and I need 25 for one quilt. How many quilts can I make and how many handkerchiefs will be left over? So again, we're gonna take those 811 handkerchiefs and divide it by 25 needed for one quilt. Well, like I said earlier, I know with quarters, right, my multiples are 25, 50, 75, 100. So I know 25 can go into 81 three times because that gets me to 75, like three quarters. I can't do one take away five, so I'm going to have to borrow here, make that a seven. Now I can do 11 take away five is six, and then one take away, or sorry, seven take away seven is zero. Bring down your one. Well, I know 25 can only go into 61 twice because two quarters is 50 cents. And then 61, take away 50, one take away zero, six take away five. We have 32 quilts with the remainder of 11. So that's over here, 32 with 11 left over. Click next. Pepper Jackie's putting 742 hard boiled eggs into cartons for community farm fundraiser. Each carton holds 12 eggs. How many cartons can she make? So we're gonna have to do 742 divided by 12. How many times can 12, well it can't go into seven, how many times can 12 go into 74? Let's think of my multiples of 12. I know 12 times, Five is 60. I know 12 times six is 72, so that's even closer. So let's do 72 here. Four, take away two is two. Bring down the two. Two can only go in the 22 once without going over. One times 12 is 12. And then 22 take away 12 would give us 10. So we have 61 with a remainder of 10. Click done and next. Erase. And I think we're on our last question here. Sweet Tea has 1,258 staples that he'll use to create canvases. Each canvas requires 24 staples. How many canvases can he make and how many staples will we have remaining? So again, we're gonna do 1,000 258 divided by the 24 staples. Now, 24, how many times is that going to 125? Well, in our last one, sorry, that was actually 12. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of guessing and checking here to figure it out. So we know that our answers here start with seven and five. So I'm gonna try 24 times five and see if that gets me close to 125. Five times four is 20, carry the two. Five times two is 10 plus two is 12. So that gets me to 120, that's really close. So I'm gonna do that one to start. I could also think about the fact with compatible numbers that 24 is close to 25 and 25 would go into 125 five times, right? Five quarters would be $1.25. But in this case, we're doing five times 120, so, or sorry, five times 24, which is 120. 
125 minus 120 is 5. Bring down the 8. 24 goes into 58 twice. I know 2 times 24 is 48. And then I can subtract 58 minus 48 is 10. So I have 52 with the remainder of 10, which is actually over here behind. 52 canvas, canvases with 10 staples remaining. Click done and next. And that's it for this lesson. If you have any other questions, please reach out, guys. I know that one was going back into earlier in this year, um, but I know you guys did a great job. If you need anything else in week seven, let us know.